The South Valley is preparing for the next storm to move in tomorrow night. And one of those areas that could see significant rain is the Tulare Lake Basin. CBS 47's Ben Morris is live in Kings County. And Ben, there was massive flooding there last year. Yeah, Catherine, Brian, where we're standing right now was actually completely underwater only months ago as this historic flooding gets smaller and smaller each and every day. But with the rain on the way, some may be wondering whether this water could rise again. Kings County is about 890,000 acres. And so at the height of the flood, the Tulare Lake was about 120,000 acres. So if you think about that, over 10% of our county was covered in water. Nate Farrier with the Kings County Sheriff's Office watched floods devour massive amounts of Kings County farmland. Some of it is still underwater tonight. Just a few months ago, I was out here on an airboat floating around and there was water everywhere. It was like being in an ocean and now farmland's coming back. Now, the area that was flooded has shrunk dramatically from 120,000 acres. Thankfully now, um, we're down to about 4,500 acres. And though this next round of storms may give worry to some in the region here, Farrier also working with the Kings County Office of Emergency Services says they are not expecting a repeat from this round of atmospheric rivers. The rain itself wasn't the big issue last year. It was what came down the mountain. It was the snowpack and the flooding from all of the lakes that fed into the Tulare Lake that caused the big issue. Flooding may not be top of mind here, but in Wood Lake, residents aren't taking any chances. Sandbags now at the ready. And getting ready for whatever comes next. Cause some anxiety. You just don't know what's going to happen. You know, it's a flip of the coin. And we are going to continue to follow these storms as they hit us. So make sure you stay with us both on air and on our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Reporting live here from the Tulare Lake Basin, Ben Morris, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.